if you're anything like me, your brain is your biggest ally, but also your biggest enemy. It'll sabotage you left, right, and center. And you got to catch it in these little traps that it sets for you. Or you will find yourself in a position that I realized I've been in for a little bit. First and foremost, sorry about the shorts. Uh, I was trying to post two of them yesterday, and uh, one of them posted today instead of yesterday, and also out of order. How did that happen? Clearly, I'm not tech literate enough to work YouTube shorts, so I'll work on that. Sorry about that. Uh, second, what am I describing? So, I'm experiencing a situation right now where my cart is way too far in front of my horse, thus making no progress, okay? As you know, I'm making a website, right? And I want to transition this website into being what generates income for me so that I can be self-employed rather than working for someone else. Fair, okay. What's this website look like? Well, right now it's a bunch of HTML. It's just the stuff of the website, okay? And that the that front end talks to a back end, gets data from it, presents it. When I pull up the website, there it is, just stuff. It looks real bad, but it's supposed to. It uh, doesn't have any styling on it yet. Great, great. Where's my mind? My mind is thinking three, four, five steps ahead how do I package this in such a way that people return to the website? How do I make products out of this thing? Is there some way to monetize it in, in one way or another? Like, is this part behind a paywall? Is the whole thing a subscription kind of service? Um, is it something that uh, I send to the customer directly? Do they have to come to the site each time? Um, will this just be like all freebies that later lead to a, a sales funnel for a course? Like what? How are you going to monetize this product? Okay, uh, and that's great. Those are good business questions to have, absolutely. And I'm, I'm glad, Luke, that you're thinking of product fit. Right on. So, how's progress going? Well, it's kind of been a gridlock. You know, like I, I fixed a bug the other day and I changed the layout of something, um, but, uh, not making a lot of progress. Your two hours of work, I mean, they weren't the most productive. Let's put it that way. You're just kind of switching stuff around and, and beating around the bush as far as that styling thing we were talking about. Like, have you added some CSS to it? Like, let's make it look less like, um, less bad. <laughs> let's make it look like something other than like, here, here's the data. Like, that's cool, man. But, uh, you know, sometimes people like something that's easier on the eyes. So are you making progress there? No, because you're thinking, how am I gonna monetize it? Okay, that's great and all, but you are so overstretched with your brain that that's not where we're at. You don't have any traffic to this thing. There's, there's nothing here that would even remotely be saleable, sell, like something that could make you a profit. There's nothing there for that. <laughs> and you're not in a place where that's even, it, it's not pertinent to the right now. Right now, you need to tie your shoes. Right now you've got these little tasks in front of you. And yeah, that's the trap that I found myself in, that my brain has set for me. It's like, you're thinking too far ahead and it's keeping you from moving forward in the right now. Because right now, you could be doing you know, one, two, three things that are just little and move in steps forward. And that's the only way you're gonna get there anyway. That's the, you're not gonna sit down and just crank out the next Facebook immediately in, in just like a, a 10 hour work session. If you do, that's, a, that's amazing. Uh, I'm really proud of you and mildly jealous. Uh, but I'm, I'm just like the average Joe. I, it's gonna take me a while. It might be two years before this thing even launches. So. I, Maybe don't focus way down the road at what you think could be possible and how to get to that. Think about right now what you could actually do. And that's to make it look a little nicer, to finish those features that aren't quite fleshed out yet, to maybe add a few things that you want on there. Awesome, awesome. You'll get to that place where you can think about, like, how do I tweak this product so that sales actually go through? How do I meet a customer's needs? Who is my target audience? All these are these are great things. But don't get lost staring at the horizon where right in front of you, you, you got stuff on your plate. So 
that's something I noticed that I was doing this week in particular. And it's, uh, it's an interesting little, little trap to get caught in because you kind of kick yourself for not moving forward at a pace that you think you should be working at. And that's a whole other issue with perfectionism of like, how do you, you have to have mercy for yourself, feel proud of the things that you got done, or you're never going to come back to this project because every time you come to it, you just kick yourself for not getting enough done. So don't fall into that. Uh, but actually using that time to be as productive as possible because you don't have a lot of time in my shoes. I, I got kids. I've got a job that I'm juggling. I'm on lunch right now just to make this video kind of thing. Uh, and so getting caught, you know, staring at the horizon, never his mind on where he was, on what he was doing. So saith Yoda, right? Um, yeah, hopefully that helps you a little bit. Like, good for you planning for the future, but maybe rein that in a little bit. Don't worry about it. You'll get there. Take a deep breath and do the busy work in front of you. Good luck. Talk to you later. Y'all take care of yourselves, okay?